Hi everybody, this is Zach Amans. Um, I think we are all live now. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to have you all here this evening um, presenting this webinar on uh, cellular oxygenation. So th thank you very much for uh, being here with us um, and I hope you'll enjoy it. I'm sure you will, just like um, I really enjoy doing these presentations. So um, let me just um, share the presentations and let's start. Um, so as I said, this is about an hour presentation. So just housekeeping um, uh, rules, as I was going to say. Um, no questions or you know before we end you know this presentation just to make sure it flows nicely um and also you know you might have some of the answers to your questions during the presentation um now the presentation itself will be emailed to you tomorrow so you will have all the information emailed to you for those of you who have registered um also before we start as i said if you have any questions you know you have all the details at the end of the presentation, so the email address, telephone number, etc., um, and also for just easy um, easiness. So the cameras are obviously cut off, so that um, all I can see is the screen and is the webinar. So let's start. So let me just share with you um, the presentation. Uh, there we go. So this is the first one we are doing. So I'm trying to, there we go, there we go. Nice and easy. There we go. So, Hollist Laboratoire and Development. So this evening's um, webinar is on cellular oxygenation and how to improve cellular oxygenation. So unless you've been living under a rock um, in the last year, you've noticed that, you know, we've had lockdowns. Um, after lockdowns, you know, in many countries, this is not just in the UK, but also in France, you know, we had to wear masks. Uh, pollution has decreased a little bit, but not so much. So with all these factors, how can we improve our serial oxygenation? Well, that's what we are going to see this evening. So just a little notice, um, so the information provided in this webinar has been uh, provided by our scientists in, in France and this wonderful lady is called Beatrice Mercier. So Beatrice has a PhD in ecology and the biochemistry of cellular oxygenation. And this conference is based on international research and studies published in various world-renowned scientific journals. So certain statements may also come from observations and empirical experiences recorded by speakers, doctors, and other health professionals, or by patients themselves. So the purpose of this webinar is to disseminate our investigations into the current situation and to share them with you. So obviously we make no claim that any health condition or afflictions can be improved by the technology presented. It can help it to support. And of course, this, this does not replace in any case a consultation and or a recognized medical treatment. Now, a little bit more about me. So my name is Zakia Um I am a naturopath. I've been a naturopath for many years. It says uh, 2007 and the years are passing by. Um, I'm also the vice president of the General Council and Register of Naturopath and the British Naturopathic Association. Um, I've got many passions, but one of the is about educating and supporting individuals to become more empowered with their own health. And I think in the last year, this has been really, really key, not just for me, but for many of my colleagues um, with COVID and the pandemic, we've really seen many, many people who uh, wanted to improve their state of health. Um, and obviously using the bol d'air has helped tremendously some of my patients, I see. Um, so yeah, so as it says there, what I put in my practice is my naturopathic skills, but also helping people with their um, with their immunity, which is really important at the moment, um, and just being more empowered. So, before further ado, what are we going to um, see tonight? 
So the agenda is very simple. What's hypoxia? We'll talk about cellular oxygenation, why it's important, and also uh, the reasons. And then we talk about the device itself, the Boulder Jacquet. So, so for those of you who are not familiar with the word hypoxia, um, if you look in the um, PubMed, which most of us know, if you're a naturopath or nutritional therapist, you know, that's what you look into when, when you want to look at studies or... And in PubMed, the word hypoxia is referenced almost 160,000 times. Um, and that was back in November 2020. And I'm sure since then, the number has increased because there have been more and more studies, especially in the case of COVID, linking hypoxia and uh, the, the effect that hypoxia has uh, obviously on not just COVID and how serious it can get, but also on many other diseases, especially uh, degenerative uh, conditions. So what's hypoxia? So hypoxia is the lack of oxygen at a cellular level. And as you can see here, we have different types of hypoxia. So the reduction of partial pressure of oxygen that's hypoxia, so a lack of uh, oxygen at a cellular level. So you start having a reduction in blood flow, and that's called hypoxic hypoxia. You can have a reduction in hemoglobin, which is anemic hypoxia. Then you have a poor circulation, stagnant hypoxia, and inhibition of mitochondrial respiration, which is called isotoxic hypoxia. And all these things contribute to a reduction of producing of energy, which is synthesis of ATP, which is really, really important. So what do you get? You get tissular damage. And after that, that's when you start having, sorry, just going back, um, you start having symptoms. Basically, the body is starting to exhibit symptoms because there isn't enough oxygen. The cells are not functioning properly. Let's just see, there we go. So, what are the natural causes of hypoxia? So as we know, every imbalance between supply and demand of oxygen to the body creates cellular hypoxia. Now, if you're not having enough, which is what, most, what we are most of us suffering from, not having enough um, you can have enough oxygen, but if your cells are not using it properly for many reasons, which we'll see in a minute, then the body is not functioning properly. And that's when, as I said, the body is starting to exhibit symptoms, which can be more or less uh, difficult to deal with. And it depends on how long you leave them um, to be established. But the source of it is the hypoxia, cells not having and not being able to utilize the oxygen they're receiving properly. Now, as I said, you know, there are various reasons, you know, why hypoxia is, um, uh, happens. So first of all, aging, as you can see on that graph. So if you are 20, um, your partial pressure of oxygen is almost close to 100. And the older we get, the more diminished that number is. So if you are close to 80 years old, as you can see, it's closer to 70, which is lower. So aging is, it, it, aging is a normal factor. Lifestyle, for example, also has an impact. So do you smoke, for example, that has an impact. Um, do you live in a polluted area? That also has an impact. Um, for those of us who live in big cities, we can see the difference let's say when you go on holiday by the seaside or um, to the forest, you know, you feel much better, you have less pollution, therefore your cells are better able to utilize the, uh, the, the oxygen that you're breathing in. Um, your lifestyle, you know, are you eating uh, proper food? Are you healthy? Are your cells being able to use the nutrients as well? If there is a lack of oxygen, if the cells are not functioning properly, then they won't be able to, to do all those processes, those normal human processes. 
So that can also lead to what we can see on, on, on the right. So you've got areas of inflammation, uh, you can get diseased tissues, malignant tumors, atheromas, areas of infection, and signs of wounds. So all of that hypoxia is the, the consequence is that. So you cannot it can be the consequence or the origin. So So where does it come from? How does it happen? So inactivity, of course, you know, is, is a big factor. You can have breathing difficulties as well, you know, asthma, for example. Or, as it says, uh, we've never existed in a more toxic world. There is a lot of pollution around. Um, and that can also cause uh, hypoxia. And of course, you know, we have so many pollutants and these pollutants can either be by absorption which is for example if you are taking uh, prescribed drugs uh, if you're poorly they can come from pesticides so anything that goes you know onto the food and of course uh, once you eat the food you know it goes into the system heavy metals found in water so for example arsenic copper aluminium lead nitrates which are found in drinking water uh, and preservatives as well i don't know if you can see there we go um so food preservatives you find those in for example you know bacon or you know sausages or that's usually where you find them hence trying to have the healthiest diet possible to limit this amount of pollutants you know going into your body and for your body to have to deal with them now you can also have pollution at home um, and these are overlooked most of the time. So what do you have? You have asbestos, you have fire glass, um, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, adhesive fumes, so from furniture, for example, so that's glue, basically, what they, what they use to uh, keep the furniture together. Now, that's one, um, and I know in certain countries, for example, like Switzerland, I think, um, what they're trying to do is bring on legislation that uh, minimizes the use of all these uh, pollutants because you spend quite a lot of time at home and what you don't want is creating um, the perfect environment for all these pollutants because we know they have an impact on people's health. Um, clinic products, the same, you know, there have been studies recently saying that all these clinic products that, you know, we use, um, you know, can have a huge impact on, especially for pregnancy, actually. So recommending to use maybe more eco-friendly uh, cleaning products. And then you have the acroline, which are mostly found in melted plastic, uh, burn fats, and overripe fruits. Let's just get to the next. There we go. So another fun uh, picture and another fun subject, the nanoparticles. Now, the illnesses linked to exposure to nanoparticles, I know uh, when Beatrice did this presentation in French, um, and her point was that I think it's recognized by, um, by a certain part of the scientific community that nanoparticles have an effect on, on our bodies they get stored as well. I think that's, that's the other problem in, 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 in tissues and organs. Um, and because they are relatively new, when I say relatively new, it's in, 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 in history, of, 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 history of, of medicine and how we can have a, um, a long-term view on their impacts. Because they are relatively new, we, we don't know exactly the, the huge impact. We know they have an impact. It's just, you know, how big and how bad. Uh, now, there are certain companies that um, have decided to minimize the role of nanoparticles, uh, and I'm thinking about uh, makeup companies, for example, because uh, more and more uh, customers and clients know that, you know, they, you put them on, especially for makeup, if it is on your face, and then it goes into the bloodstream, as you can see here, um, and then it just, you know, it doesn't get processed by the body because, you know, they are um, foreign elements. So, for example, here, as you can see, when you inhale those nanoparticles, what happens? They go to your brain. So that can create neurological diseases, has Parkinson, uh, Alzheimer's disease, 
Um, when they go to your lungs, that can create asthma, emphysema, bronchitis, certain type of cancers. If they go into your circulatory system, um, that's when you can have vasoconstriction, atherosclerosis, thrombosis, tension. Then it can pass on you know, to the heart. And with that, you can get arrhythmia, heart diseases, causing death, of course. Um, when they get into your lymphatic system, that can create uh, conditions like Kaposi's sarcoma or elephantiasis. And then in terms of the skin, how it manifests, you get autoimmune diseases or dermatitis. Now, if we go on the other side, on the left uh, side of the, um, of the screen, when they penetrate, uh, or when you inhale them or ingest them, then what do they do? They go into your cells. And when they are ingested, of course, they go into your gastrointestinal system, creating colon cancer or Crohn's disease. Um, for those of us who are naturopath or, as I said, nutritional therapist, we know how important your guts uh, are for your health. You know, that's where immunity happens. Um, so trying to make sure the guts, the gastrointestinal system is best looked after is um, plays a big part in keeping people's immunity and good health, actually, in good check. So bearing that in mind, again, treating hypoxia, having a better oxygenation will help with the gut system and then we'll have with many other uh, many other systems now this should say actually it's not the principal causes of hypoxia but the what do they when you have hypoxia what happens basically so what do you get this is all the the fun stuff so you get decreased mental and physical abilities you can have emotional instability Apathy, fatigue, of course, nervousness, anxiety, uh, insomnia, and it can also create oxidative stress because your body is not getting enough oxygen. Now, just before we get to the to the part talking about uh, the body of Jackie, what I would like to say here, and before we, we, we go any further, is how, and there is a picture of a, of a little girl there, you know, trying to learn, but the bol d'argeque is also great, you know, with children because because it helps with the brain is one of the biggest consumer in the body of oxygen. So the better oxygenated the brain is, and we are talking here about little ones, the better they can learn. Okay. When I said earlier on that there is a big big link, um, and and there has there have been studies, there is a big link between hypoxia and degenerative conditions like Alzheimer. Um, etc. Now, the more you bring, or the more you have the brain to use to utilize that oxygen and combat hypoxia, the better people can remember, the better they can learn. It will calm down their nervous system, and it will also help with anxiety. So I think you know, for children specifically, because I see um, many children in my practice, and they are very agitated. Um, they might have problems at school, for example. Once they start a course of Bolder Jacquet sessions, you can just see that nervous system, you know, just coming down. They are less agitated. They are more focused. And it works for adults as well, of course. I'm talking about children because you see them more um, agitated at school, for example, where with adults, you know, we tend to control ourselves more. But with children, it's really, really nice to see the difference. Even after one or two sessions, um, because it also works on sleep, it improves uh, your sleep, um, they are more rested. So if these children are more rested, they are better able to learn the next day. They are not tired, which helps with fatigue, and then they learn better. So it's, it's a really nice virtual circle, um, as I call it, compared to the, which I think it's the next, it's the next slide, um, compared to this, which is the vicious circle of hypoxia. So, as you can see here, what do we have? If we have subcellular oxygenation, what do you get then at cellular level? You have a lack of energy. Your cells can't produce the same amount of energy they would if they had enough uh, oxygen. 
So that will lead us to a slowing down of cellular functions, as I said. So they're less able to assimilate properly. They're less able, this, these are your cells, uh, by the way. They're less able to eliminate. They're less able to communicate between each other. They're less able to renew, which is also very important, or differentiate. And these are very, very important things because if they don't happen at cellular level, then your body is just not, um, I was going to not perform, but it's not functioning at a, an optimum level. So then you have dysfunction at different levels. So where does it start? So then we start seeing the beginnings of metabolic problems and the organic dysfunction that can be anything from, as I said, fatigue, inflammation, and inflammation is really um, the bed of all later on bigger diseases. We have less resistance to infections. So you have um, a general state of organic dysfunction. And then after that, what do we see is the beginning of diseases and allergies. At that point, you have a metabolic syndrome. And with that, we mean, of course, obesity, diabetes, cancer. And those metabolic syndrome have been, um, we have talked a lot in the last year on causality. So basically, you know, and with COVID, because, you know, we are talking about, um, you know, mask wearing and what has been happening in the last year, we have discovered that this metabolic syndrome have an impact on the severity of, um, of what people are experiencing. So COVID-19 patients, if they have these metabolic syndromes, of course, um, it's far worse. The condition is far worse than maybe people who are healthier. So, and this is not just for COVID, you know, we see it in clinic and in practice. Uh, people who have a better state of health are more likely to be able to fight off infections um, or to recuperate, even if they get an infection or a virus, um, they are better able to recuperate. So, Systems and functions most affected by hypoxia, as you can see here, every system and every function is affected because um, what we can't, none of our systems can uh, function without oxygen. You know, we are a whole system, and that's why you know it's it's a, it's a holistic view. So, as it says on there, you know, you get fatigue, uh, you have a metabolic condition like obesity and diabetes. Your immune system uh, is impacted. Um, your brain, as I said, as you can see here, uh, the brain, the lungs, the heart, you know, th they are big, big consumer of, of, of oxygen. So if you starve those um, organs or systems of oxygen, you're not functioning at an optimum level. So brain, lungs, obviously, you know, the heart, um, and this can lead to some cancers, of course, in the long term, immune system uh, problems. As I said, you know, we've seen it with COVID. Um, and of course, you are aging more quickly because the body is almost giving up before, uh, before it's time. Now, the specific action on the immune system and inflammation, I mean, as I said, uh, and I won't go into this in detail, um, if you have specific questions, um, you can always email them to me and we can go, uh, or I can go more in, into detail, but because uh, this is quite scientific uh, and this is for the great public, so some people might not be um, affected with some of those, uh, of those terms. But just to make it simple, a lack of oxygen, hypoxia, creates inflammation. And that's a vicious circle because if there is uh, inflammation, then there is, you know, the immune system is not responding properly and also your body, yeah, your, your immunity is compromised. So then infections and viruses, you know, are more likely um, to create havoc. So, and then it's a vicious circle as we've seen it um, in the previous slides. So improving hypoxia will decrease the inflammation, will then decrease, you know, the level of infection and diseases and um, metabolic syndrome, you know, that we will see in the long term. It's really, really important. Now, after we've seen all that, which is not the fun stuff, but there is, of course, 
um, a, a way to improve, as I said, um, and overcoming the oxygen loss risk-free with the boulder Jacquin method. So you've got a, a, a wonderful picture there of the pine trees, and that's in the southwest of France, beautiful region. And you have um, a lovely lady uh, having a session on the machine, which you can see the mouthpiece. That's our Aero 2 model. So let's just start on that. So again, just to reiterate, um, of course, Boulder is not considered as a medicine. It can, however, be very useful in preventing and or supporting medical treatments. Now, uh, in France, where Holist has been, or you know, the machine has been, you know, has been around for you know over thirty years, they have uh, um, an excellent record of um, how the machine, how the device um, helps alongside a more integrative medicine. Um, you know, you have the Boulder Jacquet in, in spas, in, in certain hospitals, some doctors, you know, use it. So they really have um, a good understanding on how the machine can help at various levels. So in sports, for example, um, we have um, a really good leaflet with many, many sports pe people in different uh, categories, actually, using the device and uh, giving us testimonies on how it helped their recovery, their um, performance, um, and how it changed actually uh, their sports practice. So as we said, this is not, uh, this is not a medicine or, but used in conjunction with other things, it can be really, really, um, really, really good. So in the beginning, who did we have? So we had a visionary spirit uh, Monsieur René Léon Jacquet. Um, René Léon Jacquet was born in uh, 1911 and died in uh, 2010. So as you can see, he led um, a long and healthy life, actually. Um, and most importantly, he was a chemist. He did a lot of research and he was very visionary. I think when we use the term visionary, um, he really tried to look at what's happening in nature, uh, transpose it to to the health sector and see with the pine trees, you know, he really realized that those pine trees, you know, going by um, having walks, for example, you know, in those pine tree forests, helped patients uh, to feel much better. How he managed to get from that to the Boulder device and combine the pine tree uh, resin and essence with this machine, which um, can do wonders. So, as I said, he was a chemical engineer. He was a student of the Nobel Prize winner, Victor Grignard, who was also French. Um, and then he embarked on a research career. Um, and he really coordinated his work in several fields, such as antibiotics and penicillin extraction procedures. Um, but his main interest was always in hormones and enzymes, vitamins, uh, and the biological phenomena which determine the ideal state of health. Now, as a naturopath, I know that um, when people come to me and uh, they are poorly, for example, we know that if they can't, if their body can't utilize what I've just said, you know, vitamins, uh, or they can't produce, you know, enzymes or, you know, hormones because their cells are not in a in a proper state of functioning then it doesn't matter how healthy they are eating or how much sport you know they are doing something fundamentally at cellular level is not happening so what he understood he basically applied his combined knowledge of biology chemistry and physics to the extreme complexity of ecosystems and life and i think that's why it's really interesting that he had that approach he wasn't just a chemist or or an inventor, he looked at a problem and thought, let's try to find a solution. And that's why he created the biocatalytic oxygen oxygenation concept that is so central to the Boulder Jacquin. So the technique of cellular oxygenation stimulates the self-regulation and healing process that already exists within each of us 
you see it in children, for example, why do they recover more quickly? Their, you know, their bodies, their immune system, their functions are far more um, performance than ours, you know, as adults. They are not, they are not as polluted, they are not as uh, stressed as we are. So their bodies are functioning, functioning at higher speed. What um, uh, Monsieur Jackie was trying to do is find a system that's um, completely holistic and basically, you know, work with this healing process, which is innate to us. So why the word holist, which is one of my favorite words, because, you know, we should look at the body healing in a holistic way. For me, as a naturopath, it's the only way anyway, um, because we are not separate system. You just can't deal with the brain or the mind and the body. We are complex and we are whole. So, and that's why I, I, I love the name Hollist. Um, so it is an all-around approach to human beings. Um, so yes, yeah, so the name of the laboratory reflects our commitment to an all-round natural approach to health and human beings, of course. So for the last 30 years, the company has been involved, has a holistic approach to health in which the human being is treated as a whole in its biological, psychological, and energetic entirety. So, Hollis Laboratory has developed health applications and innovative high performance products that enable people to manage their own health and well being. And as you can see in that picture, which I'm very jealous I'm not there, but it's beautiful. It's in Burgundy, um, you know, where it's, it's, it's green and it's, it's a beautiful setting. So, again, it's part of this holistic approach. It's not just treating the body in holistic approach, it's also how, you know, where the company is. Uh, what's behind it because you know there is a coherence here so as I mentioned before um, one of the main components which uh, René Jacquet discovered was the, the, the tremendous effect of pine trees basically uh, on health so starting from there he was thinking you know how can I make this work so how does Bolder work so it optimizes the oxygenation of the body, basically. So it looks after and increases our ability to assimilate the oxygen we usually inhale. This is not about bringing more oxygen. It's cleverer than that, I would say. It's allowing the body to use the oxygen that in, in the air and we, we inhale. And where I would say it's clever it's because when you do a session with the Boulder Jackie, your body will, depending on your state of health and what, um, what may be, what weaknesses you are experiencing at that time, that's where the, uh, the Boulder will work. So for example, you can have two or three people coming, you know, for example, for a session with me on maybe fatigue or, or something else, just doing a session, maybe for one person it will help with sleep, Another person might feel better if they've had a cord, for example. Another person might think, I'm thinking more clearly. I haven't got this fog anymore. So it keeps you healthy in a natural way and in a more targeted way, I would say. So the natural phenomenon in mind that René Jacquet thought up the Bolder solution, it's by using the essential pine resin oil, which is the turpentine oil. Um, and for him, it was really about creating a, an oxygen carrier. So I always imagine those, uh, the turpentine, like a little friend, you know, trying to get, you know, more um, oxygen so that that oxygen can be transported and utilized, you know, by our cells more efficiently. So the resin, which is the raw material of orisin, what is it? So it's a sap from the maritime pines. Do you remember those beautiful trees, you know, we've seen previously in, uh, in that picture? Um, so those maritime pines, and it is a specific pine uh, pine tree, so it's the Pinus pinaster, um, and it's collected by tapping into the bark of the tree. And when this is, it produces this resin or turpentine oil. Um, and this specific pine tree is very rich in alpha and beta pinens, which are used in medicine and cosmetics, and are very well known for their beneficial properties. That's also why we 
do not recommend uh, to use any other oil, uh, organic or not. The only oil that must be used in the machine is the Orisin, because we know it has been um, properly checked. It's organic. It comes from a very specific part, uh, from a very specific tree, which has specific properties. Um, and also, it can be quite dangerous if you use another oil. So for all these reasons, always use the Orisin. So which resin does Orisin use? So as I said, to make the Orisin used in the bowl there, we use top quality essential turpentine oil that comes from the pine forest of the land, and that's on the Atlantic coast, beautiful part of France, uh, and also Portugal. So it's Aquitaine and Portugal. And its composition is analyzed in a laboratory by a certified body, uh, and its organic credentials are guaranteed by Ecosair. Um, I can't um, emphasize enough the fact that this is pure gold, you know, this, this, this um, essential oil. It, it's, re it's really, it, it's beautiful to smell. It's amazing in terms of product. It's organic. It goes straight into your system. So, yeah, as I said, you know, that, that's the, that's liquid gold. Um, so tree tapping, that is also environmentally friendly. Do you remember when I said Holist uh, looks at the individual in a holistic way, um, but it's also the way they, um, they deal you know, with the tree, you know, and, and sourcing the Orisin. So obviously, because Orisin plays a key role in the border, um, and you have about 15 to 20 metric tons produced each year, um, that's why Holist uh, is always looking at strengthening its management of the quality and traceability of its turpentine essence by introducing and developing the Biogen program. Um, and there is more, if you want to learn, there is more about the Biogen program on our website. It, it's really fantastic for people who are really interested in um, eco-friendly products and, you know, sustainable ways. Uh, it's great. It's really, really great. So. I'll just touch on it, uh, uh, on it a little bit here. But as I said, if you want to know more, go on our website. It's really amazing. So what's the Biogen program? It's an innovative way of collecting resin from beginning to end, which doesn't harm the environment or the health of the tappers. Because what was happening in the past, um, the, the way they were collecting resin, they were using uh, harsh chemicals, uh, not only it was detrimental to the tappers, to the people who were collecting the resin, but it was also really, really bad for the trees who eventually, you know, would die. Um, and it was bad for the environment. So that's why Holist, I think, it is great because it's sustainable. It's um, and it's looking in the long term, preserving this um, this richness, which you know, which we really need to look after. Because as I said, the more we look after the environment the trees, the tappers, um, it's, a, it's a virtuous circle. Now, this is the, the, the machine. So how does it very, very simply, how does it work? So the starting point is the turpentine essential oil. And that's why I've said it's, you know, it, it's, it's vital to understand, you know, the importance of it and, and the quality of it, you know. So Orisin is poured into the class receptacle. So as you can see here, so you've got the oil goes in there. And we'll watch a little bit, uh, a little video at the end just to, to show you how it all works. Um, then the latent air is drawn in here. So you've got a, it's filtered and channeled through the receptacle. receptacle. The volatile component of the oil, alpha and beta pinens, pinens which are, you know, the, the ones who are really good for us, which are really healthy, and have health properties, are activated by passing through the mini lab, which is somewhere here. And then, of course, these active molecules are breathed in directly at the mouthpiece of the apparatus, which is here. So the person will sit somewhere here in front of the apparatus and would just breathe in and relax. And of course, you don't have to be sitting in. You can also, uh, because this, let me just see, because this arm here can stretch. So let's say 
if somebody's in bed or, or for example, people are very poorly, um, you can, of course, take that uh, mouthpiece down and, and bring it you know, closer to the person. It's adjustable. And the results are demonstrable. Um, as you can see here, with the partial pressure of uh, oxygen. So what happens just before using the bird there, so you've got a session here of, um, of bird there. Um, so what happens here, look, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty the same, you know, less than 52. Once you do a session of uh, bird there, Jackie, what we see is that A, it increases, but not only that, it stays pretty, um, much constant but above what it was before and for uh for a long time as well so what we see here which is, which is great and i see this in practice and that's what we would recommend doing several sessions a day if possible um three sessions depending on the type of machine you have so it's between five and maybe nine ten minutes again you start slowly you start with one minute see how uh, how, how your body fits and you can increase but let's just say if you start you know one minute in the morning one minute at lunchtime one minute maybe in the evening and then you can increase over time but what we see is the benefits um, you can feel the benefits for a long time this is not just a one uh, you know you do the session you feel the benefits and that's it no the body can feel the benefits for hours which is amazing and that's why if you do several sessions a day regularly, then it's a constant um, optimi optimization of your body functions in a very natural way. So as we all know, this is stating the obvious, but oxygen is vital for the immune system, obviously. Um, and during an infection, the body's demand for oxygen is multiplied by 10 or 20 times. Um, so, hence the importance of, alongside, as I said, uh, um, an integrative approach, doing border sessions can help tremendously with, uh, with infections and illnesses. So, we have here um, studies, and you know, they are also on our website, so the comparative infections Procarditis virus and that's the effect. Basically, these are the studies on the effect of the uh, the essential oil, the panins, uh on on certain viruses. You've got uh, another study here: phytochemical analysis and in vitro antiviral activities of the essential oils um, of essential oil. You've got another one here: comparative study on the antiviral activity of selected monoterpenes derived from essential oils. So. All of this shows us, as I said, it's finding in the scientific world, the, um, which René Jacquet did, of course, but the, the impact and how efficient the essential oil, the, um, the oresin, works on the body. So, Bolder has inhalations have a light thinning effect. So there is, um, and again, this is also on our website for those of us or those of you who would like to know more, but droplets of blood seen under a dark feed microscope before and after a six minute sessions on the ball there. So that's at the beginning. So as you can see, um, the, the droplets, they look really uh, clamped together. It, it is quite thick, uh, which is not great. And that's after six minutes which, you know, they are quite, they are beautiful, actually, the platelets, you know, they are separated, um, they look happier and, and more se more separated, which, you know, so, as I said, you know, they have a light thinning effect, um, but that's the um, the study Dr. Raymond Hillou in, uh, in Spain um, did or conducted. Now, as with all uh, uh, essential oils, there are precautionary measures, so, of course, you know, do not use in the instance of terpenoid dependent epilepsy, convulsive episodes, known allergies, hyperthyroidism, and before and after radiotherapy. And we suggest following precautions when used in conjunction with immune suppressive treatments, 
cancer or organ transplant and with blood thinners as we've just seen because there is a slight thinning um, aspect and of course with all essential oils we do not recommend uh, for the bol jacket to be used by pregnant and breastfeeding women and children under 36 months so the systemic approach to health which is the bolder approach so we have two models of bolder so we have the aero tool which is available here in the uk and that's suitable for home family or small offices and then you have the aero pass so the pass cards allow ease of financial and administrative management and that's ideal for people like me naturopaths uh, nutritionists in clinic and uh, pharmacies where you can offer regular chargeable sessions so the passes are rechargeable in units of minutes or days this is really a great way to um, create uh, a fidelity you know with your clients or patients um, and also create something that just like brushing your teeth just like you know you go to the gym you start um, if you're as I said a practitioner you can start instilling this sense that health it's something you do on a daily basis so they come to you every day they don't need to see you for example they can just use the pass they come in they do you can do the session and that's it but the more we we learn that doing our session of balder as i said it's like brushing your teeth it's like going to the gym every day or doing your your mindfulness session it's keeping healthy um in a holistic way every day and that's why the pass model is really really great for professionals because as i said it's a good way to uh, bring fidelization to your clients and patients um, and also for you to have this um, constant talk with with your clients about their needs you know and also maybe you know they can recommend also the machine because they have experienced the benefits of Boulder. so really great stuff and it's a beautiful machine it, it's easy to use it's beautiful it's very sturdy it's made in france uh really really beautifully done um i went and and saw you know the 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 place where it's made you know the as i said um the components are they try you know to find uh recycling eco-friendly so it, it it really is a beautiful um a beautiful machine and it's a great investment as well so we've approached you at the end of this presentation so thank you if you are still here and you know i hope you've enjoyed uh, this presentation um we'll go into the q a in a minute um and i hope we have loads of questions of course you know as i said before if you want to trial the machine um if you want to buy it uh if you want if you have more questions uh please 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 we'd love to hear from you so either info at holist.co.uk my name is Zakia but we have a lovely team which would be delighted to uh, come and see you with if you're a practitioner with a machine um, send you you know some more information um, whatever it is do get in touch because I think uh, especially now with all the problems you know we've seen with pollution with asthma with allergies with, with health problems I think this can be a really good plus uh, for practitioners but also for families and individuals so as i said do email us at info at hollies.co.uk and we'll be delighted to uh, get back to you now before we finish um i would like to um there you go i would like to let me just share this um little video with you uh, and it's not long, uh, but I think, you know, it would be really, really, um, just one moment and there we go. Now I hope the sound. The use of bold day is as simple as it is revolutionary. It consists of inhaling a super carrier of oxygen made from a derivative of maritime pine resins. These species of pines, scientifically called pinus minister, are very characteristic of the French long. A blower allows the ambient air to pass through the essential oil of pine resins produced by a distillation.
orosine from which the lightest aromatic molecules are detached. They are then activated in a tunnel where their transformation into oxygen carrier takes place before being immediately inhaled by the user. Hemoglobin picks up this transporter more readily than oxygen alone and releases it to cells in a highly assimilable form. The bioavailability of oxygen is then greatly improved, and all this without the risk of hyperoxygenation. With more energy and vitality, a virtuous circle of improvement in all of the body's functions is set up. There we go. So, just coming back to this. So here we are. Um, now, we've got about 10 minutes before we... Um, we um, I leave you with this. So there are some um, questions here. Um, so let me just. So the first one is. Um, so Rowena here said, I may have missed this, but is there any application for your machine in relation to mycotoxins? Um, yes, uh, Rowena, because we the um, the essential oil is also anti it has many properties i mean i can't go into the detail but it has many properties and it has um it, it has been demonstrated that it has an impact on mycotoxins by improving the um the, the the immune system and the ability for the body to fight off these mycotoxins uh now as i said i'm not scientifically trained so i wouldn't be able to tell you in details how the process works but by um how can i say if you know in 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 health and naturopathy if you in, increase or improve um somebody's immune system and body's ability to deal with pathogens or mycotoxins then it's easier for the body to um to deal with those so increasing the oxygenation of the body dealing with hypoxia will increase that the body will be stronger and it will deal with the mycotoxin and i hope um i've answered your questions um, so Sylvia said, I've seen this in Italy and was very interested in it. Would you also talk about prices at the end? Um, th there are three different mach machines, Sylvia. Um, and I think that's, uh, something maybe, you know, we can breach with, um, afterwards, because as I said, it really depends on your, on your needs. Um, there is another machine, which I haven't shown in the presentation, um, which can also be uh, purchased. So that's um you know as i said you know the, the prices are also on the website but it really depends on what use you want to to have with the machine so as i said if you want to use it at home and it's for your personal use then the aero without the card is really good if you are a practitioner and uh, you have you know many clients or, or patients coming to you then the pass one is, is really really good and of course it's a little bit more expensive but in terms of investment, um, it, it's great. And as I said, our sales team would be delighted to talk more in detail um, about that. Let me just... So I've got another question here. I have a friend who already uses the Bolda device and is very pleased with the results and would like to know how he can buy it in the UK after the trial. Well, as I said, you know, we've got a great sales team here in the UK. So once um, email us, info at hollis.co.uk there is a telephone number uh we'll be delighted to 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 talk to you about it um so yeah ju just get in touch as i said w we get so many positive feedback um you know of people when when, when they've used the machine because it's instant as soon as you have a session um you feel you feel so much better straight away um and it's even better when you can use it let's say for example over over a week so people start feeling you know they have less of a brain fog they sleep better they feel um uh, less anxious or less tired so once you try it and that's why i'm 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 so um excited because you know once you try it you know you can't go back you know i've, I've been using it for well since i did my naturopathic degree and that was 2000 and, and yeah and five um and i still remember the first time i used it i mean it was just a revelation it was amazing um and that was before i was i was doing this so um so yeah so again how can i have a trial very easy 
if you give us a call or email us, uh, info at um, you know hollies.co.uk. As I said, one of our sales team will get in touch, um, and then they'll come with the machine, and you know they, they they show you how to use it. If you want to have it, maybe uh, you know for several days, or or you know it's it's very easy. But I think the key point here is to try it. So whether you have it for several days or you come to a practitioner or somebody who has it and try it, you must try it. So let's see if there are more questions. Will the sites be made available later? Absolutely, Julia. Uh, yes, so you receive an email uh, probably tomorrow. And um, yeah, so you receive the slides plus the, um, the, the recording, I believe. Um, and if you have any questions, as I said, you know, I'll try my best, obviously, to answer. If they are more scientifically based, then I would get in touch with uh, with our head office and the scientific department, just so that I give you the most um, accurate uh, information. But yeah, so you will receive that uh, by tomorrow, I believe, Julia. And if you haven't received anything by tomorrow, just make sure you, you check your spam folder. Uh, and if not, again, just give us, you know, send us an email and then, you know, we'll look into it. Let's just see if there are any more questions. Ah, got a really nice message here from Pamela. Um, so Pamela, you've said, you know, I'm keen to try this. Uh, one of your team has already got in touch with me about this. Really pleased I watched this webinar. Well, thank you, Pamela. That's that's nice to to hear. Um, yeah, it's it's so exciting. And as I said, you know, I, I I get excited because it's it's such an amazing product and it's such an amazing company. Uh, you know, it, it's it's a beautiful product. As I said, you know, um, it works on so many levels. You know, I see the the impact uh, on on my on my patients. I see the impact on myself. Um, it's really, really, really nice. And as I said, there is no going back. Once you've tried it, that's it. You know, you you must have the machine, or you know, you can go to somebody to a practitioner. You know, who has it, and you can do your your daily sessions. Um, it's such a nice investment. That's what I say to my clients or patients when they say, "But you know." I say, this is an investment and you keep it for years, you know, and the machine is so well built. Um, it will, it, you know, it will help you. It will help your um, your family. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's amazing. And I'm glad, Pamela, you are saying, you know, you were very skeptical at first, but Samantha has convinced you to have a go. Samantha is great. You know, she's one of our uh, uh sales team and she's fantastic you know she's passionate she's uh she's got a scientific background so she can also understand you know how how it works on a more um on on a deeper level um and yeah she's she's absolutely uh, amazing um so it's let me just somebody says sylvia you said can you put the name of the website please yeah if you go to hollist you know it's hollist uh uk um let me just m maybe try. Uh, wait a minute. Let me just. Yeah, it's hollist.co.uk, um, and that's the uh, that's the website. So, as I said, if you have any problems, Sylvia, you know, just um, just get in touch with us. Um, the, the website is also, you know, it, it's all in English. And um, some of the the research papers or the studies are still in French, but. If you need any more clar clarification, just uh, just get in touch with us. So um, yeah, let's just see if we have maybe one or two more questions. Yeah. So basically, just to clarify, www.holist.co.uk, uh, Sylvia. So that's where you need to go. Um, now, just from my personal experience, has I think I touched on it, you know, before and how you can use it. Uh, in a, if you are a practitioner in a, in a clinic, it's it, it's it's a great way to introduce it to to a more holistic approach. As I said before, so for me, I get uh, a lot of children, for example. Um, sometimes I get the parents; they are probably you know uh, coming for recurrent infections or 
And then, you know, we start with a boulder se a session, for example. You know, they might be really stressed out. They might be really tired. So I said to them, look, why don't you just have a session with the boulder, Jackie, uh, and just relax. And I just leave them to it. And then for one, two minutes, you can just sit down, just enjoy that beautiful, beautiful essential oil, you know, turpentine. And then I can see the difference it made. They are clearer, they are more centered. And then I start with my um, naturopathic consultation. And that leads to them coming back saying, oh, I felt so much better after that. What was it? You know, how, how can I have that? Maybe at home, for example, if I can come, if I can't come and see you. I think for practitioners, if there are practitioners here uh, this evening, it's, as I said, it's an amazing, it's a beautiful way, A, to work on people's overall health, but also to have that conversation about how can you work on an optimum uh, level of health. It's not just saying, oh, um, I don't know, you know, I've got a liver problem, or I've got a digestive problem. It's saying, how can we work holistically, you know? Uh, and holistically means, having a really good level of oxygenation that can be used by the body with the boulder jackie. So there we are. Um, I think we are going to close this session for now. If you have more questions, please email us. As I said, you know, this is, uh, this is the end of, of, of this webinar, but I'd be absolutely delighted to answer all your questions or give us a call. As I said, you know, I'm, I'm always very happy to have a chat too. Um, so, as I said, we'll send you the presentation and the slides maybe tomorrow. Um, and just go to our website, you know, go on the website, look at the videos, um, look at the testimonials. We, you know, we've got some amazing testimonials, uh, the studies, uh, the machines. The website is, 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 is really fantastic. Um, www.holist.co.uk um, and the email address info at holist.co.uk. So it has been an absolute pleasure to be here with you. And I'm glad to see so many um, uh, very um, yeah, excited uh, individuals, you know, about the machine, just like I am. Um, so yeah, absolutely delighted. Have a lovely evening and I'll see you or speak to you soon. Bye for now.